What is up, mortals? Dan Dan Kill One here, and welcome to this week's Cade Six's Cash Stash Locations. Uh, this week we're back on Nessus, and as you can see here, there's a fair few of the um, a fair few of the chests scattered all over the place. There's also one at the top of the map that uh, that we'll flick over to in a second. However, I do want to note that during the um, during the video, you'll note that there is one chest that is currently missing. Uh, it is the one that's down the bottom, the farthest to the bottom here, and it's just around that nook. Unfortunately, I the the it just didn't capture properly. But uh, as you can see here, here's the uh, the chest at the very top of the map as well, uh, which isn't too difficult actually. Jumping into the first chest here, straight up off the uh, off the initial land. Uh, on Nessus, you're going to want to head right down this path here, so easiest way to do it is going to be jump onto your sparrow and boost off around the corner. Just keep following it as if you were going to any other section of the uh, of the Nessus patrol region. And instead of peering through this extra uh, hole here, as you can see just at the top here, there's the glow of the chest. It's a very telltale giveaway, apart from at the moment when the dawning is on, because there's been quite a few times where I have mistaken them for a snowball mount. The second chest here, which is actually uh, the third chest, unfortunately, um, because I did not manage to get the one below, as I said. Uh, you're just going to want to spawn in here at the uh, Sistan, I'm pretty sure it's called and just bounce your way down. It's not too difficult at all, you don't need to jump on your sparrow or anything. But you're going to pass underneath this uh, this rotting tree and jump onto this ledge. And if you run through the roots here, there's actually a pathway leading to the back end here which will lead you to the chest. I quite enjoyed this hiding hole. It wasn't too difficult, but it was, it was a, a nice little hiding hole. The third chest here uh, not too far off from the other one, so I, I'm actually going to take us there from where the, uh, the last chest I get was, just under the rotting tree there. And you're just going to want to basically form a U-shape. This way, you're not going to get lost, because it is somewhat easy to get lost navigating this particular area. But just stick to the left and continue forming that U-shape that I was talking about before. And just peer through this ridge line here. And you're going to come up, up over the top of this hill, and you can see it down here to the right in this uh, uh, Vex goop. Don't stick around too long, whatever, you can get electrocuted and potentially even die. The fifth and final chest here. Uh, this one we've seen all too many times before. It's at the very top of the map here. Uh, I don't think there's been a week where this one hasn't been uh, a hidden chest. But this is right across from where Zer is located when he spawns in on Nessus, so it's, uh, it's not very difficult to miss. As you can see, it's the top there right now. So we're just going to jump up onto this ledge rather than using the tree like we're used to. And uh, just jump straight to the branch to streamline it a little bit. And that's the, uh, that's the fifth and final chest for this week. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps other people find the content as well. I'll catch you guys out there.